Happy St. Patrick's Day! It's Mr. Mike here at the Sherburn Public Library for another episode of Story Time. I need everybody to stand up and pretend to be a bunny. We'll hop, hop, hop like a bunny. We'll run, run, run like a dog. We'll walk, walk, walk like an elephant. And jump, jump, jump like a frog. We'll swim, swim, swim like a goldfish. And fly, fly, fly like a bird. We'll sit right down and fold our hands and won't say a single word. Great job. Okay. Do you remember what animal this is? A crocodile. Let's count our crocodiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what color are our crocodiles? They are green. So let's sing our song, Ten Green Crocodiles. One green, two green, three green crocodiles, four green, five green, six green crocodiles, seven green, eight green, nine green crocodiles, ten green crocodiles. Great job. Okay, today in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we have the book called Wilford and Blue, Patty Day Pincher. Now notice, this is Wilford. What is Wilford? What kind of animal? He's a sheep, and this is Blue. What kind of animal is Blue? A bird, a blue bird. Patty's Day Pincher. Do you know what it means to pinch? If you think of crabs, they have pinchers, and if they get you, it hurts. Also, sometimes we say when we get our finger caught in the door or a drawer, it pinches our finger. It hurts a lot. Patty's Day Pincher by Rebecca and James McDonald. There you go, Wilford. Now you're ready for St. Patrick's Day. Notice, what did they put on Wilford? A bow or a bow tie like Mr. Mike sometimes wear. And what color is it? It's green. Blue says, ready for what? Willard's, Wilford says, I'm not sure, Blue. <gasps> Do you know what kind of animal this is? It's a goat. Ah! If you're wearing green on St. Patty's Day, that means you can't be pinched. Notice the billy goat has a clover on. What color is the clover? It's green. So Wilford says, so anyone who's not wearing green gets pinched? <gasps> now just a second, Wilford. Pinching is painful. Sheep don't pinch. You have hooves, not hands. <gasps> nipping is close enough to pinching. What do you think nipping is? Nipping. Hmm. Let's find out. <gasps> Ouch! Ba ba ba! That's not very nice, Wilford. What did Wilford do? He bit the other sheep. So nipping is like biting. Is that nice? No. <gasps> you aren't wearing green. What? What kind of animal do we have here? A pig. Hey, that's my ear. Oink, oink, oink. Can you make the sound of a pig? Oink, oink, oink. What's happening here? Wilford sneaking up on a cow. 
Ha ha, Wilford says. There's no hiding from me. Moo! What did Wilford bite? The cow's tail. Can you make us sound like a cow? Moo! Now where are you going, Wilford? To see who else isn't wearing green. Is Wilford making good choices? Not today. Aha! No green! Bok, 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 bok. How dare you! What kind of animal is this? It's a chicken! I don't think this is a good idea! What kind of animal do we have here? It's a horse! <gasps> nay! 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 Whoa, that was close! The horse tried to kick him. What are you doing now, Wilford? Celebrating! Quack! 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 Uh-oh, but look. What is the duck wearing? A clover. And what color is the clover? It's green. Uh-oh. How does that duck look like he feels? Does he look like he's happy or mad? That looks like one mad duck to me. Oops! I didn't see you're wearing green. What sound does a duck make? <clears throat> quack! Mad duck. Uh-oh. <clears throat> quack, 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 quack! Can you quack with me? Quack, 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 quack! <gasps> quack, 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 quack! Quack, 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 quack! Huff, huff, huff! That duck is sure mad. <gasps> Ouch! That hurt! Oh, Wilford. Huff! That was no fun. No fun for anyone. Balk! Moo! Oink, oink! Ba! Look, Wilford! What's Blue got? He's got a clover. What color is the clover? Green! <gasps> Look, Wilford's gonna give one to everybody. One for you, and one for you, and one for you. Everybody has a clover now. Now everyone's wearing green. A much better way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The end. You can say that with me. The end. So did Wilford learn a lesson? Yeah. Instead of hurting people, he should help them instead. Help everyone wear green to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. <gasps> Speaking of the word day, day begins with the letter D. This is a capital D and a lowercase d. Let's sing our alphabet song to find out where the letter D comes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? Can you think of some things that begin with the letter D? 
Let's go look for the letter D. Let's go look for the letter D. Let's go look for the letter D. Way down yonder in the library. Picking up D's and putting them in our basket. Picking up D's and putting them in our basket. Picking up D's and putting them in our basket. Way down yonder in the library. Okay, let's find some things that begin with the letter D. It's a duck. Duck begins with the letter D. D. Duck. Ooh. A delicious donut. Donut begins with the letter D. So does delicious. <gasps> arf, 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 arf. It's a dog. Dog begins with the letter D. Rawr. It's a dinosaur. Dinosaur begins with the letter D. It looks like a fish, but fish begins with the letter F. This is a dolphin. A dolphin begins with the letter D. <clears throat> this is a domino. Say domino. And on the domino, it has dots. Both of those things begin with the letter D. Dots. Here is our capital D. And this is our lowercase d. Now, if you come to the library, we have some books that have the letter d on them as well. This one is Nothing Fits a Dinosaur. Dinosaur begins with the letter d. Ooh, this one's called Diggersaurs Explore. Dig begins with the letter d. Do not let your dragon spread germs. A bunch of D's here. We've got a D here, do, dragon, and then at the end of this word, spread has a D in it. Let's count the D's. One, two, three. Three D's. Norman didn't do it. Yes, he did. Didn't has a D. Oh, there's a D hiding in the middle. There's a D, and there's a D. Ooh, there. Let's count how many Ds. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five Ds on that page. Oh, how do dinosaurs say goodbye? There's that D word again, dinosaurs, and do. Also, good has a D. Now, this looks like it might be a D, but that's a B. It's facing the other way. Goodbye. So those are all the letter D. Okay, that brings us to the end of story time. So it's time to be a teddy bear. Teddy has a D in the middle of it. In fact, there are two Ds. Teddy. So everybody get up. Ready? Here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, that will do. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, don't you sigh. Teddy bear, teddy bear, wave goodbye. That's it for story time today. Have a great day and keep on reading.